Okay, so here's the crazy thing about soap and why it is not great for your face. I want you to consider that possibility that the soap you've been using on your face is actually harming it. Um, to understand why this is the case, we have to go back a little bit uh, in time. This has been around for a couple thousand years, and we need to talk a little bit about how it is that soap actually works. So you see, the way soap functions is it can form tiny little bubbles called micelles around tiny pieces of dirt, dead skin cells, etc. And then when it's rinsed with water, those tiny little bubbles containing whatever it is we're trying to wash off, uh, they get washed away. This is great if we're talking about your tabletop or your toilet seat, but it's not great if we're talking about your face because you see, for soap to work, it first needs all that stuff, primarily dead skin, um, to be broken off the surface and into small little pieces. Um, the way that I, I would say to, that I recommend folks think about this is if you've ever tried to cook uh, a pan, or excuse me, clean um, a cooking pan with cooked on food and had success just by squirting dish soap on the grime, um, you'll understand. I mean, nothing happens, right? It just, it requires you to scrub the pan to break up the, the crud that's on there so the soap can actually grab it. The same thing is true for the face, which is why you see tons of products on the market that are designed to do just this. Scrubbing pads, soap with little bits of sand in them to create friction, facial cleansing brushes, microdermabrasion systems, the list goes on and on and on. But I'm here to tell you that those are all crap. And the reason? Because when we apply friction to the skin, particularly the face, we disrupt not only dead skin cells, but also live ones natural oils that normally prevent breakouts, and normal safe bacteria that prevent infections. So in the short term, this causes the skin to dry out more and for breakouts actually to increase. It also, after a week or so, causes the skin to adapt. And just like the development of calluses on the hands of a weightlifter or an athlete, the skin will increase cell turnover and create more dead skin cells. This process entirely defeats the purpose of cleaning our face. Uh, it's as if sweeping the floor to sweep up dust and dirt actually causes the floor to make more dust and dirt than it did before. Um, probably wouldn't buy that broom. This is also why most folks who start uh, a scrubbing type regimen for their face wind up bailing on it after a week or two because the positive results that they saw in the beginning stop due to the increased cell turnover I mentioned and the increased dryness and breakouts that occur. Pisecki MD cleanser is entirely different. Uh, I have literally reinvented soap for the face. Um, and instead of requiring mechanical trauma, and instead of using something that will take everything away, not just what I want it to, the surgical soap cleansing complex is designed just for the human face and using and understanding the physiology I described. Um, we use saracen, a unique protein used by silkworms and by spiders for that matter, to make their silk strands sticky. Um, spiders use this protein in their webs to actually catch bugs. It's the stuff that sticks to the bugs. The, this protein is like a homing missile for dead skin cells because it binds to keratin. Keratin is the primary protein in bugs. Now, we don't care about bugs, but it's also the primary protein in our skin, and in this case, dead skin cells. So the product goes on a moistened face. You leave it on for 15 to 30 seconds. It binds to the dead skin cells, and then you wash it off. There's no scrubbing, there's no trauma, and guess what? Since only the dead skin cells have come off, the skin isn't prompted to adapt. So the results come every time you use it, not just for the first week. The skin's not injured. The pH and natural outer lubrication and protective mechanisms of the skin aren't disrupted, which means healthier, happier, more rejuvenated and youthful appearing skin because we're not damaging it, we're just cleaning it. And we're specifically cleaning what we want to from the human face. Smaller pore size, better complexion, and a rich, happy glow is really what this product creates. They, all because we stopped carpet bombing the face and started using smart bombs and, tech, and, and common sense. So after 5,000 years of soap, I think the human face is ready for an update. You should check out this product.